the Raiders have two top quarterbacks now. I don't know if there's anyone else lurking on the roster there. I don't have it in front of me, but it's Aiden O'Connell who started a lot of games last year after Jimmy Garoppolo was injured a couple of different times, and then they just kind of forgot about Jimmy G. Now you've got Gardner Minshew, who has signed on for a decent veteran quarterback contract. Antonio Pierce, the new coach of the Raiders. On O'Connell, this comes courtesy of Steve Weish of NFL Media. At the end of the day, listen, Aiden O'Connell played his ass off. He did a hell of a job for us. You're talking about a kid who has that mental toughness to play in the National Football League. Whatever happens and whatever we do, it has to go through Aiden O'Connell. Being honest with you because he's earned that right. That is a turn for Antonio Pierce, who just a few weeks ago was making it clear that he doesn't want a Band-Aid solution at quarterback. He wants a long-term guy. He wants a rookie. And it may be that somebody pulled him aside and said, hey, Antonio, there's a nuance to this. There's a subtlety to this. The draft is a competitive process. And if we make it too clear what we're trying to do with pick number 13, I believe, in round one, makes it harder to do it. If the whole world knows we're looking for a quarterback, somebody's going to jump us at 13, or it's going to cost a lot to move up if there's a guy we want. So let's just be prepared to be flexible here. Let's not wear our heart on our sleeve. And, you know, maybe let's affirmatively create a little smoke here, that it's Aiden O'Connell who has a chance to compete. And we got Gardner Minshew. And, you know, if they get that long-term guy, so be it. If they don't, they go forward with these two and they let them compete and see what's what. So I think that part of this, Chris, is a correction to what we heard in Indy when I thought maybe he was a little too candid in what their plan is moving forward at quarterback because he made it clear they want a long-term guy. And it became, I think, also clear from the context they're talking about a rookie not somebody they would sign in free agency. And obviously they didn't go after a long-term guy in free agency in Gardner Minshew. He could earn that right, but that wasn't what they were looking for. They, they, I mean, all the things you said, they're, they're, they got to be careful about how they play this. Cause uh, you know, I would think of course quarterback would be on their radar as far as the draft is concerned. And they're sitting there in a spot right now where it's like, Ooh, I don't know. I mean, the JJ McCarthy's the Bo Nix, you know, the Michael Penix, you know, what's going to happen there in that area. That's definitely a sensitive or, you know, like trouble spot we look at to go, ooh, there could be some action there. The Vikings at 11, the Raiders at 13, people making moves, whatever else. So, yeah, they got to hold their their cards close to their vest as far as that's concerned. And then I also think part of this, Mike, is like a little bit of like just coaches speak. It's a little coach speak. Right. He realizes Aiden O'Connell did a good job. People respect Aiden O'Connell in the locker room. He can't just sit here and go somebody else is the starter, especially not Gardner Minshew. Now, the reality is, is like they paid Gardner Minshew $15 million guaranteed. Like Gardner Minshew, if no quarterback is drafted, Gardner Minshew is going to be the favored guy as the quarterback there for the Raiders. Right. They might let Aiden O'Connell have the first few reps at OTAs, whatever, but it's going to be close. So, again, I think that's where this is one where a little bit like, hey, wait, this guy did good things. We respect him. He did good. In the, you know, the locker room likes him. Certainly. Ooh, we gave Gardner Minshew money and people are already saying he will start over Aiden O'Connell. If we don't draft anyone. And I think he's putting the brakes on that a little bit to just show Aiden O'Connell the respect that he deserves to go, no, no, it's not guaranteed that way. But by my history in the NFL and the contract of Gardner Minshew, that tells me he has an edge on Aiden O'Connell right now, no matter what Antonio Pierce says. <laughs> yeah, I, th- I think you're right. I think yeah. you're right. And I still think they're eyeballing a quarterback in yeah, round one. Right. But yeah. there's only so many to go around. And there's more teams – that want quarterbacks than there are high-end quarterbacks in this year's draft. So that's going to be part of the fun as it all plays out. By the way, Anthony Brown also is on yeah, that's the right. roster at the quarterback position. Minshew almost willed the Colts to the playoffs last year. 7-6 and six was his record as a starter, taking most of the reps after Anthony Richardson, all the reps after Anthony Richardson got hurt, and he played a little bit before that. Richardson had a concussion early in the year. Minshew played some, Richardson came back, had the shoulder injury. It was him the rest of the way. And 
I feel like he just deserves a, a, a real chance. Like we saw him early in his career in Jacksonville with a bad team, frankly, a team that was disintegrating from the 2017 high watermark when they almost got to the Super Bowl. It fell quickly for the Jaguars. And it was 2019, it was 2020, and by then they were so bad, they got the first overall pick. There goes Gardner Minshew. And, you know, I just never understood, like, what was it, like a sixth-round pick that they got for him when they traded him to the Eagles? You know, I, I just feel like this is a guy who would benefit from the opportunity to be the guy. Full off season, full training camp, preseason, regular season, see what he can do. Tough draw in the AFC West. Yeah. But they may have something with Minshew, and maybe that's part of what they've decided as well. You know what? Maybe we don't need to mortgage the future to try to get one of these young quarterbacks. I think that's maybe what we protects like what we it. We have in Minshew. Right. 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 Yeah. I think it protects that. It doesn't make them as desperate to go. Okay. Yeah. Like you're saying, we got to give up the farm to get a quarterback. They're. I think they can go. Eh. We got two guys. We we feel like we can win games with. And so I, I think there is an, an aspect to that. And and you're right about Gardner Minshew. He's right on the fringe there. Unfortunately, he's one of those guys where he could play. He's tough. You know, he's got some moxie. He can make all the throws, but there's certainly a few throws every game where I know during the season last year, I told you where you go, ah, I mean, you'd like your starting quarterback to make that, that throw. And the problem with Gardner Minshew is that, yes, you know, hey, he's got some starting quarterback qualities like we're talking about, but when you put him on a practice field next to a guy like Anthony Richardson or Trevor Lawrence, it becomes qu like very apparent very quickly where everybody goes, "Whoa, uh, we like Gardner, but um, yeah, um, yeah, he, he's uh, no, he's not Trevor Lawrence. Uh, yeah, Anthony Richardson's got you know seven rockets up his butt and a rocket launcher for an arm." Gardner Minshew, we like him. We like him a lot. But he, no, that guy's potential is here and Gardner is here. Like, so that's the problem with Gardner, right? And when you got a, a guy that's young and talented there, you just go, well, we know he's not the future. This guy is. And, you know, hopefully for him, he can find a spot where he can hunker down and be the guy for an organization. Hey, and who knows? Maybe Antonio Pierce was playing four-dimensional chess when he said what he said four weeks ago in order to get Gardner Minshew for a better deal than what they otherwise would have gotten him for. Because if it would have been clear that they were desperate to go out and sign a free agent, maybe it would have been more expensive to get Gardner Minshew. They came out of it with not a horrible deal for Gardner Minshew to come in and be the guy. That $15 million probably isn't fully guaranteed at signing, but still, it's a good deal for him. It's a really good deal for him. And maybe it does tell us more than anything Antonio Pierce could say right. about how they view these quarterbacks because O'Connell's in the second year of a slotted rookie deal. And, yeah, Minshew got a good, not spectacular, but a good contract to come in and presumably be the guy. So maybe they won't even be in the quarterback market when the draft begins one month from today. It's one month till the draft. We need the countdown clock, which will be right over there. Did I finally get it I right? think you might have got it right the first yes, time ever. It will be right down – there, once we have the countdown clock, it is in one month, unless they move it around. They tend to move it around from time to time. Not the draft, the countdown clock. Hi, it's Mike Florio. Thanks for watching PFT on YouTube. Hit subscribe for the latest news and analysis from Pro Football Talk.